mistakes. We all move on. But, you know, so I wouldn't consider that like that, like uh, feeling bad, but it is what it is. Hope that answers that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Zach, let's get that last question. Are you ready for the last, last one? I got one before the last if you'll take it, just because sure. I've already told sure. it. Sure. Okay. Sure. okay. Uh, give me a second here. Where's, uh, all right. This one is from, let's see, Leopold. You are unmuted. Leopold. You got to unmute hey, how's your going? mic. There you go. Uh, pretty good. I got you. Um, so I had a, first off, how you doing, Larry? Pretty good. Yourself? I'm doing all right. Um, so, sorry, I'm freaking out real quick. Um. Uh, has anyone, like, saved you from, like, getting attacked in prison? Uh, yeah, of course. Like, you mean just someone warn you, hey, you better watch your back. Somebody looked like, you know, to talk, was they going to kill you or something like that? Or, like, yeah, or, like, stepping on. Or stepping on? No, stepping in, like, the protect. No, no, that doesn't happen. Nobody's gonna, you know, fight your battles or, or say, okay, enough. I mean, I've seen me beat enough. I beat a guy once so bad that an Aryan Brotherhood dude, he actually grabbed my shoulder and I turned to hit him. And thank God I didn't. <laughs> and uh, I was hitting this guy and he just said, enough, Larry, that way, you know. Because a lot of times you don't know when to quit and you will do you will beat the guy until they have death, until they pull you off him. And I've seen guys get beat for minutes. Minutes. Until he was almost like they're, they're wearing out of energy and the guards come tackle him. Wow. And uh, so, but that didn't happen to me. I mean, as far as I, you know, when, when you're dealing with like football tickets and all the shit we did in prison, that, you know, you might hear somebody, hey, man, he don't want to pay. Man, he's gonna, he told some guys he'll give 50 bucks of stamps to stab you to try to get you off the yard. You know yeah. what I mean? Because if you get stabbed, then they, they you know, things happen. They, who's going away? Who's getting transferred? And then when you know that's going to happen, you take care of things. You know, you 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 go, you act first, and you handle it whatever way you want. You know, you can let the guy know that you know I know what's going on. You better check in. You better you better be off the yard by six o'clock tonight, or you're gonna you're gonna see me on the yard, and you're gonna be stabbed yourself. Yeah. Usually, the fucking punk that's hiring someone's gonna be off the yard. He's gonna run. So, but that's a good question. So. It's, you got to defend yourself, but yeah, you'll have friends and you'll have people. And mm-hmm. and the best thing I could say in prison is you feel. I could feel trouble. It was amazing. You, the the feel. I would literally feel tension. I could feel it in the book. Yeah, I remember you mentioned that in your uh, book. Yeah, man, you could feel tension, man. And you know something's going down, man. You could see it. You could see... The, uh, you know, people wearing boots, the way they're walking, the way they're holding their hands. It's just an innate thing you get to see. You get to feel when you're in maximum security prisons for so long. And sure enough, when it's happening, the front, you know, go get ice. Go get fucking shit for yourself because you know we're going to be on a lockdown because something serious is going to happen. Yeah. And there could be a riot or something. And I've been in a few of those, so. And it's, you know, then you know it's coming. So it's going to be locked down for a long time. Yeah. And, you know, and you got to get ready. So, but, and of course, you got to watch your back. You don't know who the fuck is going to kill you. You don't know, you know, in a prison, maximum security, prison, you don't even walk down the hall. You don't walk down a cell tier and look in someone's cell. You don't even look in that motherfucking cell. You might see someone fucking another guy or fucking stupid heroin in his arm or whatever the fuck he's doing, getting a blowjob. And all of a sudden he says, man, Larry wants to steal my dope or he's going to get my bitch or whatever. You don't have a fucking even think of that. But you don't know. He's already a psychopath. Yeah. So you don't, you, you, you don't know who you fucking pissed off. So it's, you, you know, it, you, you learn these things. You don't even go up to another dude's cell unless you're his, like, brother and you know each other so well. That's a whole different animal. But when you know another guy from the other end of the tier, you know, acquaintances, you know him, you sit in chow hall, you might say, hey, you have a talk a second. He comes to your cell. He don't just walk in your cell. He fucking knocks on the, the frame of your door. And then you say, yo, and he comes on in or whatever. Come on yeah. in, you nod your head. 
Because that's it. That's my house, man. That's where I live. And that's where I fucking shit, eat, fuck, whatever you're going to do in prison, it's in that fucking cell. It's like your house. This is a yeah, good segue to the next question. I just want right, to say, question. before I go, uh, my mom yeah. loves your book. Who? My mother. Good. Uh, yeah. It, it. You know, I try to tell people it could be hard in the beginning. You read it, right? Yeah. It, it could be hard in the beginning because I was a pretty wild guy. Yeah. But it shows that people do change too. You know, no Absolutely. matter how bad you were, somebody can change. You know, you you can start looking at life differently. And you know, and it doesn't matter anybody that is. I don't care how old they are. That's why I tell families don't give up on a, a, a relative who might be hooked on drugs and he's forty fucking three, four, and he doesn't get it yet or whatever. Don't give up, man, because you never know when it's gonna fucking gonna hit him. And at forty six, I was when I got out. So that's what I try to, that I'm sure that's what your mom got out of it. Yeah. I hope, you know, so yeah, that's how I said hi to. Right, absolutely. Have a great night, man. You too, man. Take care. Hey, you too. All right. Last question. Dude, what? Yeah, I'm sorry to everybody we didn't get to. <laughs>